In this video, we'll talk about different properties of nodes we can measure to tell us about what's important in a network. The first node property we'll discuss is the local clustering coefficient. It's defined by the ratio between two quantities. The numerator is a number li, which we define as the number of connections between the neighbors of i. For example, here's a very simple network with the node i labeled and its neighbors shown in red. To compute li, we imagine deleting the node i and counting the number of connections between the red nodes. In this case, there's only one. The denominator is the number of possible connections between the nodes. Here I've added in blue the possible edges which could have existed, including the one which was part of the original graph. There are three possible connections between these three nodes. The denominator is the number of edges in a complete graph with ki nodes. Hence, ci is a ratio between the number of edges which do exist between the neighboring nodes versus the number of edges which could exist. In this case, it's one over three. If none of the neighbors of i are connected, then ci is zero. If they're as connected as possible, they form a complete graph and ci is one. Basically, the more densely connected neighborhood of i is, the higher its clustering coefficient. Nodes with high ci are part of dense local webs. Nodes with low ci could be hubs. Here's an example of what's called a hub and spoke network or a star graph. This could be part of a larger network, but we're considering it here in isolation. The clustering coefficient of the central node is zero. Pause and make sure you understand why. In a real network, this kind of structure, or an approximation to it, is fairly common and clustering coefficients can help us to identify it. One of the common things we want to do in a network is to identify the important vertices. For example, in a social network on Twitter or Facebook or in your own social circle, how would you determine who is the most important or influential person? This is what centrality seeks to measure, and there are many different metrics depending on how we define influence and importance. The first one that we consider is the idea of eigenvector centrality. The key idea behind this is that important nodes should be connected to other important nodes. Now this may or may not fit your application, but based on this idea we can define a way to measure importance. Let the centrality of node i be denoted xi. Then the sum adds up the centralities of all the neighbors of i, remember j is not connected to i, then aij is equal to zero. This means the centrality of node i is the sum of the centralities of all of its neighbors, and we multiply that by some scaling factor of 1 over lambda. Of course, this is circular. How can we define the centrality of a node in terms of the centrality of its neighbors? We have to solve for all the centrality simultaneously. These equations are called eigenvector equations and are fundamental in linear algebra. And in fact, they have many solutions. There are n solutions if there are n nodes. It requires some extra maths to prove, which we won't get into, but for symmetric matrix, like the adjacency matrix, there is a theorem called the peron frobenius theorem that says that the eigenvector corresponding to the largest eigenvalue is guaranteed to have all positive components. Thus, we always use the solution corresponding to the largest eigenvector to define centrality. You might not be clear on the mathematical details yet, but the important concept here is that important nodes link to other important nodes, and the more important nodes you know, the more important you are. Here's an example of a network called Zachary's Karate Club, a real social network where the friendship ties were measured amongst a group of students. The data was collected from the members of a university karate club by Wayne Zachary in 1977. Each node represents a member of the club, and each edge represents a tie between two members. The network is undirected. An often discussed problem using this data set is to find the two groups of people into which the club split after an argument between the two teachers. We can see that there are two or three nodes which have high centrality, denoted in dark red. These are important members of the social network because they are connected to other important people. Most of the other nodes are peripheral, connected to one of the central ones, but not the other, and not amongst themselves. Another type of centrality is betweenness centrality. The idea of betweenness centrality is that important nodes mediate communication. Think of a telecommunications network. If every message has to pass through a certain signal tower, then that tower is very important, and any interference with it would be dangerous. In this example, all communication between the red and the blue nodes has to pass through the black node as it propagates on the network. Betweenness centrality is a measure which quantifies this, giving a high score to nodes like the black one. Conceptually, betweenness centrality is fairly straightforward. We compare the number of paths between two nodes, say j and k, with the number of paths that go from j to k via node i. If we sum these ratios for all pairs of nodes, excluding paths which start or end at i, then if many paths have to pass through i, we'll get a large number. In practice, this means we have to calculate all possible shortest paths in a network, which can be very computationally demanding. There are some ways to make this efficient, but calculating between the centrality for a large network can take a long time. Here is Zachary's Karate Club again. This time, each of the nodes is colored on the basis of their betweenness centrality. 
This measure of centrality is similar to the eigenvector centrality, though this time it identifies two very central nodes and the rest as being less important. These are likely the two feuding leaders of the club who mediate communication between their different factions.